today I'm going to read a story called A Special St. Nicholas Day. Now, St. Nicholas Day is celebrated on December 6th. Let's read about this story. Heidi, Holly, and Hannah were busy helping Mama and Daddy trim the Christmas tree. Baby Hannah's eyes were wide and taking in all of the lights and shiny ornaments. That night was cozy by the fire and the sweet little baby Jesus was tucked on the mantle. There he is. It was the eve of a special day, not Christmas Eve, but December 5th, the evening before a special day called St. Nicholas Day. When baby Hannah had finished putting the star on the top of the tree, they all sat down by the piano while they played What Child Is This? and O Beautiful Star of Bethlehem. When they finished singing, it was time to hear the story of St. Nicholas this year. Mama was going to tell the story that had been told to her by her mother. Their grandmother, Omi, had come to America from Czechoslovakia long ago when she had her own family. She shared her childhood traditions from that country far away. Before Mama started the story, Heidi went to the shelf to get some shoe polish and rags. The three girls sat by the fire and used the shoe polish to shine their favorite shoes. Mama began her story. A long time ago, there lived a man named Nicholas. His childhood had been very happy because his family was very wealthy and generous. Unfortunately, when he was still a child, his parents died from a plague that came through their town. Before they passed away, Nicholas's parents had taught him about Jesus. Nicholas wished to live his life as Jesus lived his own and spend his time helping the poor and helpless. Nicholas used his family's inheritance to help the poor, needy, and those who suffered. He devoted his life to serving God and was known far and wide for his generosity. One particular day, Nicholas noticed that a poor father had three beautiful daughters. Back then, a father had to provide something of a great value, a dowry, to a potential husband so that a daughter could be married. Although the poor man's daughters were beautiful, they could not be married because the father had no dowry to offer a husband. Nicholas knew how he could help. Oh, what is he doing? Hmm. When each daughter reached the age to be married, Nicholas tossed a bag of gold through an open window of the poor man's house so that the daughter could be married. Oh my goodness, that's a bag of gold? What a great man this Nicholas was. These bags of gold landed in the lady's shoes, which were drying by the fireplace. This brought joy to the poor man. Oh, look how joyful he looks. Nicholas carried on similar works of kindness and word of him spread. Nicholas died on December 6th, and it is celebrated as his feast day. 
Later, he became known as Saint Nicholas for his wonderful deeds. Oh, what a great man. In celebration of his special day, good little boys and girls can polish their shoes and set them by the window in hopes that St. Nicholas will visit on this day and leave them a special treat, just as he did for many people long ago. After the story, the girls sat their beautifully shined shoes on the window sill behind the couch crept softly to their beds, and went soundly to sleep. The next day, they woke and snuck into the living room. Oh, my goodness! There in the window, their shoes were covered with cashews, walnuts, almonds, tangerines, and chocolate candies. Each girl also had a special toy in their shoes. Oh, that sounds so great. Heidi had a coloring book and a new box of crayons. Holly had a soccer ball. Hannah smiled and squealed when she saw her new spinning top. They ate only a few of the nuts and candies because they wanted to save the rest for later. They knew that they had to be good little girls and keep St. Nicholas's generosity in their hearts in order for him to visit them next year. The End